Hey guys, welcome back to another Helix video. So today I'm looking at the new firmware version 3.5 that Line 6 has released. For us Helix users, Christmas has come early this year. We now have some new toys to play with, a couple new amp models, some new effects. But the star of the show is definitely the new cab block. Uh, basically the stock cabs in all versions of Helix firmware up to now were what Line 6 called hybrid cabs. They weren't exactly like IRs. Um, impulse response is an IR file. It, it basically is a capture of a cabinet. Uh, if you're watching this video, I probably don't have to explain too much of what that means. So the new cab block works much more like an IR. It's got thousands of IR captures, meaning you can now pull up an, uh, a cabinet with a microphone model. You can move the mic, you know, side to side on the speaker, set the distance, change the angle from straight on to off axis, 45 degrees, gives you much, much more granular control over the mic placement and the sound you get. Um, and so far with, with the little bit I've experimented with it, I am really, really impressed. I'm getting some great sounds out of it. Um, and I look forward to going through a lot of my older presets, incorporating the new cab block and seeing what I get. Also big benefit, the new cab blocks use substantially less DSP than uh, the original dual cab blocks or single or dual, either one. The new cab blocks use way less DSP, which is great because it's gonna allow you to have more more blocks, more stuff in your preset because the cab isn't taking up so much of the computing power. So all that said, I built a preset using the new stuff that's in 3.5. If you want to download this preset, the link will be in the description below. It'll be for free up on Line 6 Custom Tone, so check that out. With no further ado, let's hop over to HX Edit and we'll take a look at this preset. Okay, so here we are in HX Edit. Um, I'm going to really quickly go through the blocks that we have in place. Um, just to show you what's here, and then I'll play a little bit and let you hear it. Starting off, we add, have the new uh, Octaver effect. I think it's based on the Boss OC2. It's based on an analog uh, octave pedal, which means it's not polyphonic. Playing chords with it is not going to work very well. <laughs> it's monophonic, best for like one note, you know, riffs and things. Also, um, you know, it's, the tracking is pretty interesting because we've been used to uh, digital stuff that tracks really well, and this model's an analog pedal, which doesn't track very well, but it doesn't track in kind of a cool way. Let me just go ahead and play and let you hear what I mean. If we, so we're, it does two octaves, by the way, which is cool. Uh, one octave down, two octaves down. This is just the one octave down. <laughs> So you can hear, even if I'm just hitting one note, letting it ring, there's a little bit of warble, a little bit of wondering. So it's kind of neat because, you know, like I said, everything's so kind of digital and pristine now. So when you put the dry level back in, you can play around with it. And there's kind of variables and warbling and all that stuff is happening behind it, which I think is a cool musical effect. <laughs> So anyway, it's, that's, a, that's a fun one, in my opinion. Um, the new Pillars effect, which is based on Earthquaker devices, plumes. Um, neat thing about this one, it has the mode switch. It's like LED clipping, op amp, and then asymmetrical clipping. Um, they each kind of have their own place. And I'll, I'll play an example of each one uh, once I'm going to keep going and get to the amp thing, and then I'll come back and do this. But it's cool because it gives a lot of versatility uh, to that pedal. Got a compressor in there, nothing new, just wanted a compressor. Uh, so this is the new PV model. Uh, it's a high gain amplifier. Um, I'm not really that much of a high gain player, but this amp sounds really good. I was very, very impressed. Um, I tweaked it just a little bit, not a whole lot. It's, it's kind of um, how it was when I pulled it up. I think I pulled the pre-gain back and bumped up the post-gain a little bit. I, I really I haven't looked too closely at the actual amp. Um, I really didn't know this PV amp existed until this model came out because uh, I don't keep up with, with a lot of tube amps these days. But uh, it sounds really good. I'll let you hear what it sounds like. Um, to me, like if, I, if there's a high gain sound and I can just hit like an open D and an open G chord and it just rings. It's not 
you know, if there's clarity and gain there, like that's a good day. Like I like it. So um, I'm quite impressed with this one. So yeah, great amp model. Um, on to the cap block. Uh, I'm using a Greenback 4x12 and an XXL V30 4x12. Greenback has an SM57 on it, and the XXL has the 160 ribbon. Uh, the 57 is off axis, meaning it's a 45 degree angle. Uh, it's right on the cone, but you know a little bit off center. Um, this the 160 is a little more off center, but also right on the cone. Um, so that is what I settled on for this one. But, uh, to be honest, everything I tried sounded good. Like that's this new cab block feels very plug and play. Like, you know, I always used stock cabs with helix and could always get what I wanted out of them. But to be fair, like there were just cabs I didn't like. Um, it was kind of, I had to find a handful of cabs and settings that really kind of got where I wanted to get. And I would just stick with those and they worked great. Loved them. So far with experimenting with this, like everything I pulled up is like, yep, that sounds good. That sounds good. You know, <laughs> which is great. Fantastic job. In my opinion, they've done what they've done. So, um, to, to finish out the post effects here, I've got the new flexo vibe and the four voice chorus. They're both line six, original effects and the new dynamic ambience, uh, for reverb. So, um, let's go back to the start. I've played a little bit. I've let you hear the amp on its own. <laughs> Let's turn the drive pedal on. Just adds, you know, some nice aggression and gain to it. If we go to mode two, to my ears, this is like a clean op amp. It, it feels like it's just pushing the amp harder. It's not... Um, doesn't give me like a classic overdrive feel. It just feels like it's just pushing. Like it's just taking to 11. It's taking the amps to 11. Then we'll do mode three, which is the asymmetrical clipping. So to me, that sounds more of a classic drive pedal, you know, whereas mode two is just feels to me like it's just pushing the amp really hard and mode one's kind of somewhere in between. Um, really versatile. I look forward to um, putting this in a lot of the patches I personally use for live gigs and stuff, um, maybe swapping this out for one of my go-tos and, and playing around with it because so far I'm really liking it. Um, all right. The um, Flexo Vibe. Is like a univibe type thing. And the, uh, the other thing, what I've done is just turn the volume, just barely cracked it open. I'm on the neck pickup, and you can hear how well this PV amp cleans up. It's it's really really cool. Mm -hmm. So anyway, that's cool. And then of course the Flexo vibe is, is doing its thing as well. We'll look at the four voice chorus. Does what choruses do. Um, you can set the number right now. I have all four voices on, but you can go from one to four in terms of number of voices. So those are the effects. Um, real quick, I'll, I'll do this room size thing with the dynamic ambience. Um, the smallest setting um, is very subtle. A lot tighter. Next one. Get a little more. My favorite is the largest setting. 
Because to me, like, I don't really use a lot of reverb. I'm uh, unless the the song or or whatever I'm doing calls for it. I'm not really a big cavernous reverb guy. So honestly, especially for high gain, like that's that's about as much reverb as I'm looking for. <laughs> like, I, and I like it. I think it sounds good. So though this is the preset, again, the link will be in the description below. Uh, check it out. It's going to be up on Custom Tone for free. And download it and see what you think. Of course, you will need to update your Helix to version 3.5 firmware to be able to load this in. Um, if you haven't done it, do it. Just be sure you follow the instructions. Uh, because of all the new cab block information, the IR files, it's a pretty big uh, update size wise. Um, and you, you need to do a reset. There's a couple of steps to it. Uh, so the whole thing they say takes about 30 minutes. And honestly, that's probably about right after a couple of reboots and things, uh, it probably took about 30 minutes. So just allow for that, but just follow the instructions. You'll be fine. Load this preset up and start having some fun with it. Um, I'm sure I'll be doing some follow-up videos about this new firmware, particularly, you know, going into more detail on the cab block because, that's really, really cool. Really cool stuff. So as always, thanks for checking it out. If you have questions about the new firmware or things you'd like to see or have talked about with this new firmware, please put that in the comments below. Um, I'm happy to do that. Again, I'll probably be doing some more videos on this new firmware, but I like getting ideas from you guys because it lets me know what you actually want to see and hear. So uh, I always appreciate you guys for that. Thanks for checking it out. So like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.